so you're you're in one of these. Yeah. Uh, how's it going? It's going well. I'm, I think it's going okay. I'm, I got this new pulse charge ability that I'm learning how to use and what it does. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty sure I just have to use it to break these like shields and stuff down. I think you follow the wire. Oh yes, 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 yes. And then you can shoot it, maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you've got the Gundam shot. Always got to have the Gundam shot. Yeah, always. What's cooler than missiles that don't fly straight, man? Like nothing. It's true. I like the designs of these uh, these little the levels in these because it they look really simple, but there's uh, so f the thing the, one of the things that complicates it is all of the areas are gravity areas. Right. So you have to design everything right side up and upside down. But then there's uh, you have these uh, things that you need to blow up that are physically linked by a visible cable to the place you have to go. And then when you get there, you need to be able to see the thing that you're supposed, the shield vanish, right? So you have to design ups both, both upside down and right side up setups that work so that you can get those views. Right. Uh, and it's, uh, like it, it's probably a lot harder than one would think to design something for this. Yeah. Uh, Harder, you know, in a in a good way, because there's a, you know, but just like, it, it's gonna. Uh, I think that uh, uh, it it it's it puts a lot of uh, what's it called uh, restrictions and uh, guidelines on the kind of things you can do. Oh, jeez. I screwed your ability. up. I did use my new ability, and then I ran out. Oh. I allowed myself to get completely surrounded. You got a checkpoint, though, so you're good. Yeah. It's, it's, much an, easier arena, to, it's an arena setup. It's much easier fighting them off from back here than it was being right up in there. See, the, the airborne blade balls, uh, like, that's a good touch, because uh, this is just a t 3D twin stick shooter sort of thing right most of what you're going to most of the skill aspect oh. of this is going to be changing between hitting things that are flying at you in the air versus the things on the floor right or the things that are walking on the gravity surfaces because uh, you know you've only got you can only target left right or up down uh, and move those are sort of your basic uh, uh, so you can really only ask questions in the level and enemy design that, that work that way. So having these little guys that can fly around and look look correct both upside down and right side up. Uh, right. Like, you, you can tell that this was a both a character design born of necessity and also, like, a really interesting solution to the problem. Right. And are you getting, you getting owned? Yeah, I'm doing no good on this. So I got I to gotta pay attention and, uh, and focus up. You can skip the uh, you can skip these from the menu if it if it comes too uh, much. For yeah, you. hopefully it won't be. I'm getting to the point where I have to defeat the virus nest. I'm just uh, I'm just not actually carrying through. I'm mean, I'm letting myself just get yeah uh, get sloppy because yeah, like the virus nest is over there, so I can just like. They really don't want you to get out of here without using the pulse charge ability. Oh, yeah. There, so there's the other thing. So let's see if I can just kill that. Use the thing. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I just need to focus on actually killing the things as opposed to just fighting the wave. Ooh, the virus is talking now. Thanks, Glitch. 
I like Glitch. Like She's un, good. An unreasonable amount, I feel. They did a pretty good job characterizing her. I like this level, like the, uh, the like it's the the super creepy, like abandoned, uh, monster stalking you thing. I'm into that. Yeah. Like, and it might just be like having Resident Evil vibes, you know, from like I loved, uh, back when I could still handle horror, loved Resident Evil. Uh, I don't know. It's just it, I'm I'm vibing with it. That's all I'm saying. Oh, that. <laughs> I think Ratchet said it best. That is a lot of door. This must be where they generate the forge's power. But there is nothing here. Is There's only two things you need a door like that for. Keeping something in, keeping something out. That's right. Either way, it's kind of unnerving to open it. Until we have a better solution. Now, let's find us some bleeds on. That looks like a pit of death. Yeah, I think I think that is a pit of death. But this looks... I mean, there's so much level over here. There's got to be something, right? Oh, no, there's a wall there. What? What? Oh, you out of bounds? I don't, I don't know what happened there. Hacks. Hacks is I, what yeah, happened Yeah, well, that was weird. Yeah, I did find myself uh, falling off onto uh, uh, low geometry a lot. When I, was I find this. myself, I find most of my deaths uh, in playing this game are from falling. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a one-hit kill, falling. Yeah. And we are playing this on normal difficulty. It does seem like... It does seem like you should be able to be over there. I'm going to try this again, just to see. I'm going to be more careful this time. Is that glass? I, I think that's glass. I guess. I'll just assume that it's glass. Stop finding all the bugs, Tony. <laughs> I wish we could tell you all uh, why various bugs are happening because I know you'd like to uh, is that the shadow of the beast on the wall there oh because uh, I know you'd like for us to be able to explain it but uh, you know in most of these cases I I don't know because I didn't make the thing why would you shoot it because I want to kill it but it doesn't have a life bar yeah that's not great Oh, these canisters, I guess. I think that's just, uh, oh, is it? I'm, I'm running. I'm doing what you told me to do. You gotta stand there long enough for the door to open. Well, for some reason, the dimension where the Ooh. whole station's searching for us keeps looking better and better. <laughs> What's that sound? Just keep moving. Yeah. At least now I know how to distract the monster. You know, I don't think I ever figured that out when I was playing this. Does he just like the jelly in there? Is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, that's what they said. Um... I just ran like a maniac. Uh, that was my solution. And you know, I died. That was another part of the solution, is that I died. There 
There's something inherently terrifying about a slow opening door in a horror game. You know, like yeah. you can't see what's on the other side. I have to stand in one place. Who knows what's out there? Yeah. It is really good to have the Amoeboids back, I have to say. Yeah, I always like the Amoeboids. They're iconic, too. Oh, well, it's trying to get in. What am I supposed to be doing here? Break the crates. Oh, oh no, I just had to just wait. Let us watch. Resuming playback on station log. Come here. Come here. Okay, look out past the reef. I just saw a thing around it. Look, you see it? How does it swim like Is that a hello? And I think he was talking about juice. Let's get out of here. Whoop. Do you feel bad now for shooting that thing? No, he's clearly trying to kill me. It's hungry. From what I've heard, Lombax is very, it's a delicacy. Oh, I'm supposed to go here. Got it. Come on, come on. Alright, and now we try to do this. Oh. Most intense bolt crank ever. Oh, did I get it? Yeah, the bolts, the crank's turned. What did it do? Uh, I don't know. I don't see my objective where I'm supposed to go now. There are the cables with the flashy lights. Yeah. I... Oh, there's like a button up there. Oh, jeez. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Like, sort of straight in front of you and down. Uh, didn't there, wasn't there a button? Oh, I guess not. Yeah, I just have, I just have to come back to this. All right. If I were Blizzon, where would I be? Good thing he kept the O2 mask this time. Yeah. He always seemed a little negligent, like just not taking those around with him in the early games. Ratchet. I have 
Can you swim or is it just... Uh, I'm on magnet boots, so yeah, it's on a magnet boot track. Yeah. Does it change your jump at all? Uh, yeah, it's a little heavier. Oh, because it's the magnets. But the, so the water isn't necessarily changing your jump at all. I did not want to risk things either. But I am glad I did. Thanks, kid. That means a lot. But you gotta press circle. Not sure it's I'm trying to i am trying to remember how to get that cursor up. Oh but yeah. It's hard to see underwater. It looks kind of sort of blue. Did you see it? There it goes. I just had to aim it to the right spot. Seeing blue things underwater is not easy. This is kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, crabs. The first thing that popped into my head was, that doesn't make any sense. Why are the crabs under the water? And then, uh, then I realized that that was ridiculous. Up ahead, an airlock. Those agents of doom are proactive, aren't they? Yeah, they went way far ahead. I, I see a titanium over here, though, and I really want it. Yeah. Nice. You mentioned early on that you didn't like uh, uh, having to look at the map a lot to uh, uh, get all of the things. Yeah. Uh, are you do you still still feeling that, or is it any better? Uh, I mean, I do it, so it's not like it's not that I. Yeah, it's just I. I don't like that. That's the way to play. I feel like. I feel like it. Uh, takes away a little bit from the sense of exploration when it's all there on the map. Mm. It's a it's a give and take, right? It's but it's um, at, at the same time, I'm not a huge fan of just random exploration anyway. So uh, it's a, it's a little bit of just complaining for the sake of complaining on that uh. one, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Like, this could very easily just be Metroid, and they don't tell you where anything is, and you're just sort of exploring every nook and cranny. And I really wouldn't like that either, so... <laughs> yeah, I I like... Uh, uh, you played uh, Crackdown, right? Uh, or Saints I might have played a little bit of it, but yes, I know what, I, I, I know of it, so... There's this, there was this thing where, like, you you had a super jump. You could You could go really high... And so they would put the little orbs you had to collect everywhere on top of high buildings. And I spent most of my time in those games just looking for the next orb and going to get it. And there was always an upgrade where I could get them on my map. And then I would be ecstatic because then I wouldn't miss any. Right. Uh, but collecting, like, the little upgrade points for me is, like, that's top-tier video gaming right there. Right. Yeah, it's it's weird. I recently started, I have Deathloop on here, and I was playing Deathloop. And oh, Deathloop, I need to play Deathloop. Deathloop has very much that sort of explore and find things uh, sort of vibe, where it is very much just about exploring and seeing what's going on and all that kind of stuff. Which uh, I it sounds like you might you might enjoy in terms of like finding all the little collectibles and all that kind of stuff. What's Deathloop for? Uh, PlayStation, and I think it's on all consoles and PC and everything. I think it's everywhere. I'm going to need to bleep all that out so that we don't have to, you know, because uh, cause if they don't pay us for the product placement rights. We're... Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because we're t in this for the money. <laughs> if, there's one, if there's one thing you know about us from these series is that we are seriously committed to this YouTube thing as a... Oh, yeah. As, as an endeavor. Of income. Uh, we have never made a dollar off of any of these videos, which is just the way I like it. Yeah, I think once you start monetizing and doing all that kind of stuff, it comes with like an obligation, which yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of. Yeah, and uh, 
although I know YouTube can just show ads in front of anything now. For a long time, I was kind of it was kind of nice that uh, when I'd run across videos that didn't have ads in them, it was just a sort of nice break from the internet hellscape we've created for ourselves. Right. Uh, so you know, I always appreciated it. I'm glad to you know in some way have paid that forward or back, however that worked. I like the drill hound. There's very few things in a video game that can't be improved by making them into a character. <laughs> uh, you know, like, like the, it's, it's expensive to do, so I get why you don't do it with everything. And if you overdo it, I, I'll bet it could probably be annoying. But like, uh, you know, turning the weapon upgrade vendor into Mrs. Zircon makes it better. Right. You know? uh, the, having the Agents of Doom uh, running around and doing funny stuff is better than if, you know, it was just like a, a bunch of Seeker missiles that were flying around, right? right? Like, you can, the, make, turning the rocket launcher into a dog and giving it that personality is like really, uh, it's a lot better than if it was just a rocket. Right. Uh, although, you can end up with the problem where, uh, like, maybe the character version of it, you have to make enough changes to it that it becomes a less effective weapon. Right. You know, like, there's something to be said for a rocket that just flies straight through the air at what you're aiming. Uh, but I like making it into a character. Yeah. Regardless. I like these buzz weights. Yeah, it's like the old ninja stars, but you yeah, can shoot they kept a bunch the, of them. They kept the, the feel of the old ninja stars. Like, what were those called? Like, the final name for them, do you remember? Which one? The, the blade glove? The one that threw the ninja oh, stars? Oh, I, I don't remember. I'm sure someone will help us out. <laughs> post, post a comment. And then like and subscribe. Are we going to fight together? Are we buds? I think you're buds. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Ratchet. That is a relief. I'm glad that Ratchet is sending the message to always free imprisoned alien monsters on the chance that they will then become your friends and help you kill uh, robot minions. Yeah, I mean, it's a tale as old as time. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a lesson we should instill in all children. <laughs> I think freeing the prisoners as a good first option. Like, that's, that's not a bad message. No. Yeah. But then working together to commit murder is where it starts to get a little muddled. They're just, they're robots. Yeah. How can you murder that which was never alive? I'm mean, sure they were all sentient robots because that's kind of how the <laughs> Ratchet universe works. But you know, oh, situation ethics. Boss time. Oh, there's two of them. Three, Three of, them. of them. Oh. Well, that's lucky oh. I got my buddy. Oh, oh no, I took a lot of damage there. Oh, but they're so, all right. Let's let's see how we're gonna Fortunately, do. Fortunately, our friend is helping out. Oh wow, he's doing a lot of yeah. He's doing a lot of damage. I probably don't even need to go over there. Let's just drop out some agents. This is interesting because this is like I've been thinking a lot about this kind of effect. Like this is what they do in One Punch Man, uh -huh. where like you only know how strong something else is by watching it beat up something else that you know is strong. Yeah. Like it's why all the superheroes have to fight each other. Right. Uh, so like in this case, uh, it was like, oh crap, it's a boss. Oh crap, it's two bosses. Oh crap, it's three bosses. We know how tough these things are. So when he jumps over there and eviscerates one of them. It's like, oh my god, that thing is really powerful. Yeah. But there's no other way to get that across. Like, you could see him break uh, environments. You can, and it's just like, okay, well, I can't break environments, so I don't really... But watching him kill something that you know how hard that thing is to kill, that's very effective. Yeah. Oh, he wants to go with you. And there's a lot going on in this level. Yeah. 
It's a horror horror story and a love story. Yeah. All at the same time. A little buddy cop. The yep, yeah, buddy cop, the the power of friendship. And see, love story. Oh, now he's gonna meet it, it now it's gonna meet itself from another dimension. Yep. Sniff each other's butts. Oh. See that guy? He helped us out. Wanna wanna destroy the bad guys with us? Yeah. So I think they were using the animal to power the station. Right. Uh, and then it got free. Right, in the alternate dimension. But you freed it in the prime dimension. Right. Or something like that. Did it work? We don't have the sound on, so that's part of the... We're making some guesses. Well, I have the sound on. Oh, you can hear yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, uh, I have played the level before, so I at least... Uh, Oh, look, it's a Dimensionator. I remember those. <laughs> Can I still shoot them? I want to see if they come up on the... No, they don't even get targeted. They're friends okay. now. Okay. Megacorp weapons can tell the difference between friends and enemies. Yeah. Is this Megacorp? I, think no, it's I don't. I I have no idea. Let's see, because there's Megacorp. What was the other? Uh, when when they went to the other galaxy, what was the name of Gadgetron? The... Right. Oh right, there's Gadgetron and Megacorp, and Grummelnet. Grummelnet was from the later oh, games. Oh, gotcha. So there's three of them. That I know of. Maybe Mrs. Zircon makes the weapons herself. Oh, now we're going back to Zerkis. Someone. What are you talking about? You met me, and that went great. I fell off the archives in front of you and screamed a lot. True. <laughs> Just be friendly and open, and don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Okay. Hey, we got to the end. Look at that. Another level down. This was a very uh this was a very theoretical episode. So I hope it I hope it turned out okay. And I hope people enjoyed us we didn't waxing a little bit about game design and the theoretical ratchet game. I think that I think they like that kind of stuff. That's what they come here for. Well, well like yeah. anybody can just talk about what's going on. Yeah. In the game they're playing, but not anyone could have a discussion about Yeah. Something else. Uh well cool. All right. Thank you all for joining us on this. Uh this has been definitely not developer commentary. My name is Mike. I'm Tony. And we're out of here. That was a very different uh sign off than I usually do. Yeah. But, you know, I was riffing on it. it was, I think it works. Yeah. Yeah. That's good.